President Biden apparently has just got on his plane to fly to Israel and everybody else other than Netanyahu seems to be cancelling their meetings. Uh, the, the Jordanians have cancelled, the Egyptians have cancelled, Hamas and the Palestinians have cancelled. So one wonders why on earth Biden is actually travelling all the way across to Israel simply to shake the hand of Netanyahu and what what is the purpose, what is the effect uh, to go into a war zone for the President of the United States, all this security and, um, and nonsense. I mean, he's a sitting duck, surely, and it's... Um, I, I, I don't understand who is advising the President to go into this chaos to endorse Netanyahu's policies. That is madness. And outrageous. Uh, I, I cannot imagine he commands a democratic mandate uh, or the the mandate of the Democrats to uh, go and shake hands with Mr. Netanyahu, whose hands are covered in blood. Uh, the uh, And there is so much chaos. There's chaos in Gaza with a huge number of people being moved out of their homes. There's chaos in the north of Israel with a huge number of people being moved out of their homes. I think half a million Israelis have been dehomed. Uh, at least a million Gazans have been dehomed. For what? For what? Because I don't see that um, I, I don't see that moving people around the country is going to rid the country of Hamas, or even rescue the hostages. The two main objectives are not achieved by Netanyahu's policies. All he achieves is to alienate the thinking world to convince the world that he is wrong and to empower the terrorists further. It, it is a madness on a scale that I cannot begin to uh, comprehend. Uh, but, uh, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. If it uh, if it destroys me, I, 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 I will try and make sense of this. I, I welcome your comments. I welcome your ideas. But I cannot understand why these policies are being followed. And why this level of arrogance is being encouraged by uh, statespeople across the world, Europe, UK, USA, all backing this madness. And yet at the same time, uh, we're seeing people out on the streets supporting or calling for the protection of the Palestinians. And that as well is being compromised by a, um, an inability to tell the difference between the Palestinians and Hamas.